What is going on YouTube, one only X from here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's Tech Tuesday episode. Today we are going over microphones and the different ones that I use while recording either on the go, interview like this, or doing one of the reviews that I do. So to me, audio is one of the biggest things that I notice the most in YouTube videos, and I do my best to try to get the most high quality audio I can, given some of the stuff that I have, and I kinda wanna share with you the different microphones that I've used. I've shown you my helmet, which one I use in there, the Purple Panda, this guy. And I think it works great. You just have to play around with it to find that spot in your helmet that works. But when you're off the bike, what do we use? So for starters, I use the Rode Wireless Go. This thing's taped up. I'll kind of explain that here. This transmitter, it's good. I like the way that it sounds by itself. And this actually what I'm using right now to talk is just this little guy. The reason why it's taped up is because this dead cat is terrible. The clips for this are terrible. The dead cat does not stay in. So what I did is kind of, just kind of taped up around the bottom to keep it sort of over top of the microphone. It works great as far as the sound goes. I mean, that's what I'm using right now. And it should sound really clear. The thing that bothers me about it is when you try to clip it on you, one, it's huge, right? The other thing is, when you clip it on, this thing likes to flip and do that, and then your audio is completely screwed. So it's kind of bulky thing. So what I did is I took a old school Sony, I think it's an Olympus so, uh, stereo microphone, and I hardwired straight into this guy. And what I do, this is the audio you get from it. I think it sounds the best. It's a nice stereo microphone. It's a lapel mic, and or lav mic, whatever you're gonna call it. Um, and I think it sounds really good and I can actually edit it a lot better in the software. And it's just, when you tuck it under your shirt like I have it, it picks up just, as I touch it and make noise, it picks up just the noise coming from your voice as opposed to everything else. Like I've recorded next to highways and this microphone barely picked it up. It had my voice beautiful and clear. And this is still wireless in a sense because the receiver is still over there Transmitter's over here, clip in the back pocket, voila. This is probably one of my main go-to setups. Like when I do my reviews of bikes, I set the camera away and I'm talking about the bike, this is what I use the most. Another microphone that I like to use is Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. This microphone is absolutely fantastic. This is what I use when I'm, say, running and gunning, if you will, or I'm vlogging the most out here. I got the camera facing me or I'm shooting someone that is also talking while we're moving. This microphone is absolutely fantastic. The dead cat works pretty good. You can actually dial in all the different settings here to show, you know, you wanna lower your dB level because it is a windy environment. You wanna raise it, say you wanna cut the 75 hertz or 150 hertz so you can just get the vocals a little more clear. This microphone's really good. It is a little more expensive, but Honestly, there's not gonna be another one that you'll need if you wanna stick with this style. Yes, there's higher end ones, but for vlogging, this is an amazing, amazing microphone. I will say that one of the caveats to this is that it, obviously if you're talking to it facing this way, it doesn't pick up your voice on this end very well, obviously, because it's directional. Whereas when it's here, you can hear it really well. So the tricky part about this microphone is it's gotta be aware when you're talking about something, to not be talking about a vehicle, turning it around, talking to the back of it. It doesn't pick up your voice very well, so you kinda gotta like put your face in front of it or something like that, but no, this is a fantastic microphone. All right, so here is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and I love the audio that comes through it. It's super good for these types of videos. Again, for vlogging, if you're walking around outside really trying to shoot stuff, it's great. What I wanna point out, though, is when you are walking around, be cognizant of where you're pointing it. <laughs> Obviously, if you're behind it, you're not gonna hear it. But other than that, it's great. The shock mount that it's on is actually really good. It creates some distance. So when it moves, it doesn't actually create this clicking sound. And what I'm gonna mention is one of the other microphones that I have is the Deity. And that one has two different capsules. So you can actually record the back audio and the front audio. And I'm like, oh man, that is an awesome thing because I talk while I'm also filming something, and I thought, man, that'd be great. It sounds good in practice, but in actuality, not so much. It it didn't work the greatest because, one, the wind 
it didn't block the wind even with the dead cat on it very well at all. It also caught every jitter that it had because the shock mount that it was on would click and make this ridiculous noise. And then the other step, you had to do something else in post to get it to be either the rear audio or the front. When you tried to mix them, it didn't come out very well. Like you'd have the rear audio in one ear and the front audio in the other and it just didn't sound very good. It was a little too much to play with and for the price, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. I, I watched some reviews on it and it did have some pretty good reviews, but when I used the Deity, I wasn't a fan of it. So kind of play around with it yourself. That's just my quick take on it. But yeah, these are the microphones that I use the most. Uh, they are Rode. I love the quality of them. I love the way that they interact with your cameras. The settings, granted the Rode Wireless goes 2, uh, that has a whole new slew of things you can add to it. You know, your dB levels and your frequencies, you can change a lot of that stuff. Kind of like the Video Mic Pro Plus, like the one I'm using right now. It's, it allows you the most flexibility when you film something to get really, really good audio. So this is a very quick Tech Tuesday. These are the microphones I use because again, Audio is very important to me, along with the video quality, but I want to sound good. I don't want any weird noises. And the helmet is tricky because of all the wind. I know you can use, I think it's a Zoom H1. It's a very small recorder, and you can run an external mic up into your helmet. I'm thinking about doing that, but it's not a everyday thing because it has to be, the Zoom has to be tucked in somewhere, and then you have to have another cable going into your helmet. So that's... That's kind of in the future. We'll see. I got to use it once and I actually liked the way it sounded. Don't know that I want something plugged in given the type of writing that I do. So with that, I hope you all enjoy this Tech Tuesday. It's fun to share with you some of the gear that I've used because, you know, it's a learning process for me. This is stuff that I just kind of picked up and then have played with myself to try to... <laughs> sounds dirty. This is some of the stuff that I picked up and just kind of tweaked and, and learned on my own uh, and again watching YouTube videos. So I hope you find it useful because I these two microphones, the Rode Wireless Goes and then the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, they're great mics. Uh, yes, they are a little pricey, but you really get some good quality with them. So with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out.